Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Kayan if you haven't been here before and today's video is going to be pretty casual. We're just sitting on the floor hanging out in our sweatpants. Party up top though. Like if you just saw me like this you would think I was going to bed. But then I put on my hat and it looks like I'm pretty cool. Yesterday was my birthday. Well when you're watching it it was yesterday. Today's my birthday. It's October 13th. I was born October 13th, 1994, just turned 25 today, I've officially lived a quarter, I was going to say quarter of a decade, that does not make sense. How long is a decade? I think 10 years. The day you're seeing this, my birthday was yesterday, and I thought I would just do a random video sharing 25 things about me for my 25th birthday. This sounds pretty self-absorbed now that I'm explaining the video out loud, but I just thought it would be fun to give you some random facts about my life. So the first one is I grew up in the suburbs of Illinois. I only moved once in my childhood. So I've lived in the same house since I was in kindergarten. Uh, when I was young, I loved to ride my bike, catch frogs. The house next to us was a not abandoned, it was a summer home. And we used to always peek inside and think of ways we could sneak in. Used to hang out with so many friends, go sledding in the backyard. There was a swing set in our backyard. So many good memories. So the second thing is I used to try everything which now makes a lot of sense being an Enneagram 7, just wanting to try so many things when I was younger. I did improv classes, I did ballet, I did taekwondo, I did acting, I wanted to be a model. I went to Barbizon Modeling School if you've ever heard about that. So I'm very grateful to my parents who let me try so many different things. Third thing is something that stuck with me was cheerleading. That was something I did the most consistently throughout my life. So I started cheering, I think in middle, no, grade school, I think. So that was something that I did in middle school. I did the Palm Squad. In high school, I did my cheerleading team. And I also did all-star cheerleading very briefly. I have a very scarring memory from my all-star experience, but that was something I loved. Some of their activities I did in high school were track and field and pole vaulting. The fourth thing is I actually started making videos when I was in eighth grade. My channel name was Cayenne Beauty and I used to do mostly hair tutorials and fashion things. So there's a fun fact. I deleted all my videos. I wish I still had them because those would be so funny. I have some of my videos from high school, but the ones from eighth grade, I don't have any of those anymore, which makes me really sad. I think I had like 3,000 3, subscribers. Fifth thing is I never really was a fangirl, but there was one person who I fangirled over and it was David Archuleta from American Idol. I don't know why. I was obsessed with David Archuleta from American Idol and I cried when he lost the sixth Sixth fun fact was my history teacher in high school actually played one of my YouTube videos on the projector during class and it was so embarrassing. I went in the bathroom and cried and I deleted all my YouTube videos after that because I was so embarrassed. He tracked me down and apologized. It was a student in my class who told him to play it. So it's kind of a long story, but there's a fun fact is, yeah, that was one of the most embarrassing moments of my life. And I think really prevented me from giving YouTube my all was from people making fun of me in high school. Number seven, I have always been super creative. Growing up, I used to love to play games like Neopets and Horseland. I would make graphics for the, what were they called then? Guilds, I think they were. In Neopets. I used to love making layouts and graphics and I also tried to teach myself HTML to code them all so I loved those kind of things. Number eight, one of my favorite toys growing up were Build-A-Bears. My dad was really cool and used to build us furniture for our Build-A-Bears so he built us bunk beds for two of my bears. Speaking of a bunk beds, number nine is that I always wished I was a twin. So me and my sister Jonah used to pretend like we were twins growing up. 
and I secretly hope, what, not secretly, I hope one day I have twins. That would be cool, because it does run in my family. My grandpa was a twin. For 10, one of my favorite birthday parties I can remember was one laser tag, and I still love laser tag to this day. I would love to have an adult party at a laser tag arena. Fact number 11 was my first kiss was in seventh grade. And I also remember before I had my first kiss, I wrote in my boyfriend's yearbook. I think we did it for like two weeks. I wrote in his yearbook to kiss me. I don't think he ever saw it because he never did. Fact number 12 is I was a German exchange student. I believe for three weeks I lived in Germany. I went to school there. So I took German in high school and we got to do an exchange program. So that was really cool. Number 13, my favorite number, because I was born on the 13th, was my first heartbreak was when I was 16 after I found out my boyfriend had been cheating on me, which wasn't much of a surprise, honestly. But yeah, that was my first heartbreak. I remember not wanting to eat. That was rough. 14 was I always knew I wanted to leave Illinois and go to college somewhere far away. I never really get homesick. Love exploring and yeah, being away from home never really gets to me too much. Number 15 was I actually missed my high school graduation so I could go to my boyfriend's prom, although behind my back he was actually inviting other girls to prom. So I don't even think he wanted me to go with him, but there's that. <laughs> Number 16 was I was in a sorority in college. The sorority I was in was called Delta Zeta. And that experience actually really shattered a lot of my confidence going through the sorority recruitment process and other reasons too. So if you guys want a video on my sorority experience, let me know. Number 17, I bought my dog Nashville after a breakup in college. There's a fun fact, he now lives with my parents wasn't too responsible on my end, but I was living alone afterwards and I didn't want him to be alone all the time. And now him and my dog Sadie are best friends. So it worked out, but yeah, Nashville was my breakup dog. Fact number 18 is I used to use a fake ID when I was like 18 and nine, no, when I was like 19, I would go to bars and clubs. Uh, I remember the first time I went to a club I was meeting a guy from Tinder and I had braces, which is also a fun fact. I had braces my senior year of high school and my freshman year of college. I don't know why I chose to get braces. Oh, I was saying I do remember why I got braces. It was because someone on my cheerleading squad, this guy told me one of my front teeth were quick, were, <laughs> he told me one of my front teeth were crooked, was crooked. It was just a little bit crooked and I decided to get braces. And let me tell you, going to a new college or new school with braces was not fun. 19 was I actually worked at restaurants throughout college. One in particular I worked at was a bar for three years that had bottomless mimosas and Bloody Marys, which are disgusting. I still will never drink a mimosa in my life. I mean, it was a fun experience because I met like I, we had our own little family there, but at the same time, it was pretty scarring too. Serving a bunch of drunk people is not very fun. My first job ever was a newspaper delivery girl, which I wasn't very consistent at. I'm not gonna lie, there are definitely weeks where people were not getting their papers. But something about me is I've always wanted to have a job since I was younger. So I got a job as soon as I could. I think I may have been like 14 when I got that job and I haven't stopped working since then. I don't even know what I would do with my time if I didn't work, so. Number 20 is I actually have done a personal development course called Landmark. If you have one in your area, they have them all around the world. Definitely do it. It was life-changing for sure. Landmark was the personal development course where I ended up calling my parents and telling them kind of my testimony and about the whole sugar daddy thing. So yeah, that course was really good. Fun fact number 21 is that it took me three years to forgive my ex-boyfriend and really heal from the heartbreak of that relationship. So I think I do wanna make a whole video about forgiveness because I think it's so important, but yeah, I really let him dictate my life for a long time and it's crazy how long it can take 
to forgive someone because when someone breaks your heart when you're that young and fragile and don't know your worth it can be very detrimental fact number 22 i actually spent my last ber birthday in mexico with my ex-boyfriend i actually had broken up with him a week i think before my birthday but we still ended up going so yeah <laughs> Right now I'm in Vegas uh, visiting my friend Sam. I'm actually in her guest bedroom. I don't think I've even said that, but yeah. She um, was so kind to offer to buy my flight here so I could come spend the weekend with her and we've had so much fun <laughs> so far. I'm so grateful for her. And it was definitely last minute. I think we decided two days before for me to come out here, but your girl loves spontaneous anything. Number 23 was I actually did a 10 day silent meditation before you freak out, it's a, it was nothing against my religious beliefs at all. But yeah, that is probably the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. You are silent for 10 days straight. Uh, you don't have your phone, you have literally no entertainment and you meditate, which um, their version of meditation is just sitting and breathing for, I believe it was 12 hours a day. So I actually did a whole video on that if you're interested. It's pretty controversial controversial but it definitely was the hardest thing I ever did but it was during that meditation where I forgave and dealt with a lot of hurt from previous relationships fact number 24 is I cannot imagine life without dancing I think dancing is what makes me the most happiest and I don't think it's like I'm not a good dancer I would say I have a rhythm but I <laughs> really just wing it most of the time and I love it Okay, the final 25th fun fact is that I think this next year of being 25 is going to be the most exciting of my life thus far. It's going to be crazy and I'm so excited to share with you guys what's on my agenda and where I'll be moving. I can't tell you yet, but I will as soon as I can, I promise it'll be worth the wait so yes those are 25 facts about me for my 25th birthday i hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit more about me and just some random random things about my life because i think you guys have known me a lot through the past you know year or two um of more of my like life after becoming a christian but there's so much more to my background and what has made me who i am today so i was excited to share with you guys a little bit more about me so you know you can get a little bit more close a little bit more personal i want you guys to let me know how old you guys are in the comments so comment your age and also a random fact about you i love seeing repeat comments and getting to know you guys that way also feel free to follow me on instagram it is just at cayenne tilton and i love messaging you guys on there as well so i hope you enjoyed today's video be sure to subscribe give it a thumbs up and i will see you on thursday